somehow he misses. Taco, is that the one mistake that could that might cost him the round? It could be very dangerous. Looks like they're fighting their way back to Alu and Kiyoshima. AZ will be going down. Now it's a 2 1 3. This is so difficult. Exactly. It's Alu and all Alu, but now it's just going to be Kiyoshima alone in a 1v2. He needed Alu to do more there. He needed him to stay alive because now it's a bit of a tricky situation. He's going to get caught in a crossfire within seconds. Can he find this shot on Fallen fast enough? Exactly. But what a shot! The 180 headshot on the far Kiyo. He's turned into one way. He clutches it! Okay, Kiyoshima catching the grenade. Now he's going to be running over. He's going to come up. He's trying to straddle. He's going to pick up the kill. Kerrigan with one on hold. Zero. Oh, one wrong. There's the block off those key choke points that I pointed out earlier. That's what it's all about when you have that economy. Rain there to open up. He's going to trade, but Fur holds his ground. And Fur with the triple. Shuts him down. Annihilates him. A quad blind, kill. Not fully blind. He sprays through. Ooh, good damage as well. As he turns back to catch, I believe it was Dennis Twist actually going through to the site, but they've got reverse skills here. They've got a response. Fnatic and his finds a little bit of space to get a bomb down, which will boost the economy. And not only that, Firms on Armor picked up an M4. Good find from Dupree. As he slips back inside of the site. Device is low, but he's playing all the way from highway. Long shot. He's at 1 HP. Now he's going to get taken down by Crims. And there's two at quad. It's traded back. Crims on the M4. Nearly steals the round back, but Dupree, hero in the end, will give Astralis number five. Disco's inside. Dupree's position. He's in the vents this time. The first time they put a player inside of the vents and look at the difference it makes. He finds both Disco and Twist. This is another round where Astralis start this early and stay in contention the whole way through. Just Crims and Olaf. It is the two experienced players on Fnatic, the former major winners. Dennis won seven straight events ending in captains last year with this team, but he's never won a major with him. Dupree's going to find Olaf. Mistake at this point, it's Astralis. That's going to be him going down. Just rotates off early, it's all on Crims. He's got to line this up. Shadows are in his favor with the flash. He is two, fully blind, and Crims knocks them down. It's massive for Fnatic because now Dennis can go to work on the A site. No smoke in front of him. And at quad, spots the first one out, takes the shot. Remember, I already said this twist is rotated over. He's here with an AK. Crims has arrived as well. Don't advise to pull it. He's going to do that. Down goes Dennis. They've smoked off on quad, but Crims rotates over late. Zipix isn't ready for it, but look at the kill immediately before that. The obituary. Oh. It favors Kierby, but look at Crims go again. Another double, a triple. He's stepping up. Huge. Device can hold this down, and Glaive can get there fast oh, enough. It's a massive play, but Glaive is so scared. He's so yeah, timid. Go now now go. it's go. Now he spotted him. Yep, Glaive's on his heels. He's running 22 seconds. Device is still doing battle. He's low HP. Olaf's going to realize it the second he gets this kill. But he's not found him. Where's Device going? He's not in behind. Olaf does get it, but now he realizes. Fall down on B, and it's a one versus one. Glaive versus the man, the sleeping giant who has woken up late. He's up to 15 kills. 10 in the last eight rounds. None more important for Fnatic than this. He's got a kick. He's got a smoke. He's got an M4. And Glaive's got a UMP, and he's playing a far angle. He's hoping desperately that he can play this to time and he can line up the shot. Smoke on it. Olaf's gonna hold this. Olaf's gonna hold this. Glaive's off. No. Olaf's got it. Two seconds. Olaf's got it to overtime. What an incredible play from the world's former best, and he shows it again. We have the double off setup yeah. in regulation. Okay. Oh, that's how you start with an off. Take down the reverse roll of device. Oh, gets it. He stays aggressive. And they walk directly into his crosshair. It's twist to step up next. Two versus four for Astralis to try and pull back. Zipix has got Disco down. Shot from Blaze. It's all about timing because Crimson has to start moving. They get Olaf down as well. But will they read the flank? Both on top of the site. Surely he can only get one before they're both exposed. And the shots reveal it. He's looking for the headshot taps toward the generator. He's got it. And the peek from Zipix is extremely aggressive. He nearly gets caught as well. Crimson 48. The M4 has to switch to pistol. He's depleted his ammo. And he'll go aggressive. And Zipix is trying to make this out. Get as much time as possible. And Astralis will get two. What a bait play, but what a shot from Twist. Now the shot taps come out. Three fires not quite there. Twist again. Missed shot from Device. It's down to just Dupree and Fnatic. They need all three rounds. They may, may not find the first one. Because Dupree's got something to say about it. He's not the one with a kit, but there are some down inside of the site. So he's got time oh! to work with. Twist doesn't want to give it to him. That could have cost him. It does. What a shot from Crims. Fnatic in the most magical way. Pulling it back, but look at Kirby. Right time, right place. Still supporting this in Crims. He's watching from side to side up toward heaven. Good shot from Device to take Olaf, but Dennis, as always, finds one in the pistol. Device has pulled it back, and they have the man advantage on the Astrala side. Reload for Crims. He's got to get away. Three HP, looking for the headshot. Kirby's got to reload as well. They're all out of ammo oh. and Device. 
in an awkward situation. On the same side, the two versus pro players. Deep has got a nice angle. Taz can find distraction in the meantime. Can he get the high ground now? Ooh, spray down through this box. Their passion goes, but Taz is still delivering it. Team wants to find C0 attention. It's already coming in. More headshots. Taz is wrecking house. Four kills for him. And oh. indeed, we've got a rotation now. The smoke's being deployed towards eight. Smoke's deployed on both sides, and nothing happening. Just Jeff, but again, Taz is so calm. He cannot be stopped at the moment. Three players left for SK, they've got no choice but to push it. 40 seconds, forced through the smoke, and now again, Yardi starts to distract the defense. Fallen and for they need to deliver. That's a good start. The bot takes it down. There's Pasha as well. That's going to delay the versus pro side. That means rotation. There's a flank coming in from Taco, even if they start to fall. Taco could save the day. I think George next. Indeed, no, Fallen's taken him down. This round is lost. What does Taz do? Does he go for damage? Does he try and save? Because SK Gaming was showing that they want to be directly. But that's sending the jump through the smoke. I don't think they expected that one, Virtus Pro. Three players left for SK though, as Virtus starts to barrel into the other side and getting all the SKs from the way. Taz is opening things up there. That's 29 seconds on the clock, the flashes come in over the gap in the wall. Cold Zero taking down, lovely back, nicely tagged though. And there he goes, tackle to train. No time to upgrade the weapon, but close. Double dig there, Taz taking down, that's a bomb as well. 19 seconds, Taco's doing more. Blind, isolated players around the tree area. Taco's from nowhere, from the front, Cold, shutting it down, 3k for him. 